Welcome to Pastor's Chat today. We're looking at Psalm 119, and today we're on the third stanza of the chapter, which is called Gemel. And it's called Gemel in most of our Bibles simply because that is the third letter of the Hebrew alphabet. And remember, every line, every verse in this uh, section begins with the Hebrew letter in the Hebrew Bible, that is. Now, let me read these verses and we'll have a few comments about them. But our theme today is we need God's Word. We desperately need God's Word every day in our lives. We read, Deal bountifully with thy servant, that I may live and keep your word. Open my eyes, that I may behold wondrous things out of your law. I am a stranger in the earth. Do not hide your commandments from me. My soul breaks with longing for your judgments at all times. You rebuke the proud, the cursed, who stray from your commandments. Remove from me reproach and contempt, for I have kept your testimonies. Princes also sit and speak against me, but your servant meditates on your statutes. Your testimonies are also my delight and my counselors. And so we need God's Word. This psalmist desperately, as we've already said, was in love with God's Word, but he also knew he needed God's Word. Why do we need God's Word? One, in verse 17, deal bountifully with your servant. We are servants of the Most High God. Now, we're not to be ordering God around. Sometimes I feel like most Christians have God like a jack-in-the-box. We throw in our quarter and turn the handle and want God to jump out and answer our prayer and do what we need God to do for us, like God is our servant. But my friend, it's just the opposite. We are His servants. This psalmist joined people like Moses, who was the servant of God. The great leaders in the Bible are called servants of God. Paul, over and over again as he started his epistles, Paul, a bond slave, a servant of the Lord Jesus Christ. When we get that in our mind, God's not to serve us. Now, He does serve us. He does meet our needs. But more than that, we need to have our eyes upon the Lord. And if we want to know what God wants us to do, we must be in His Word daily. Daily, we are in His Word. And His Word is giving us guidance. That Word gives us a guidance, gives us the guidance we need for every day. And so, the Psalm of Proverbs chapter 3, uh, verses 4, Four and five are so powerful for that. Then we also note that we're not only servants, but we are students. Look in verse 18. Open mine eyes that I may behold, behold wondrous things out of your law. We're students. We study God's Word. We want to know what the Word of God teaches us. And only the Holy Spirit can reveal the deep truths of God's Word to us. And we ask Him, open our eyes. It's a prayer that we pray as we look into God's Word daily, that we may behold wondrous things. Oh, so many wondrous things in the Word of God. Wondrous things in this world that God has done. His creation is wondrous. His Word is wondrous. Jesus is wonderful. And when we come and search for Him in the Scripture, we find out how precious and how wonderful He is. We say, open my eyes eyes that I may behold the wonders of God, creation, in the Word, in His works in the world today. Everywhere we look, we can see the wonders of God if we only get our eyes open to it and see, and instead of seeing the corruption and the chaos and the crud, we ought to behold the wondrous things of God. And then we not only notice that, but we are we are strangers. I'm a stranger in the earth. Do not hide your commandments from me. This reminds me that our citizenship is in heaven. Philippians the chapter 3, the last verse. Our citizenship is in heaven, not on the earth. We set our affections on things above, not on the earth. We are controlled by different laws and guided by different laws, the laws of heaven. Yes, we keep the laws of the country we are in, wherever country we're in, but we are strangers in this earth. And because of that, we're also sufferers, as you see. Purses sit and seek 
speak against me. And we will suffer in this old world where we are strangers if we truly live for Jesus Christ. And we need God's Word to sustain us, to guide us, and to give us wisdom as we deal with it. Oh, what a wonderful section of verses today. Let's meditate on them. God bless and have a wonderful, wonderful day.